In this video, we're going to show you how to set up Exchange ActiveSync, uh, the direct push of calendar, contacts, and email to your AT&T Centro. Many people think that this type of technology is reserved only for Windows Mobile smartphones, but in fact, you can use your Centro in the same way that you would use a Windows Mobile device to get your corporate email from your Exchange server pushed directly to you. On the Centro, uh, we're going to use the email application to set up the Exchange ActiveSync connection. To access that, press the house button to get into the application launcher. You'll notice on my screen that the word all is at the top of the screen. Uh, if you were to press that house button multiple times, it'll scroll through the different categories. So if by chance you don't see email on your screen, when you press the E button to get to the applications to start with E, simply press that house button a couple more times to get back to the all category uh, and you'll have uh, email listed. When you select the email icon, it will launch into the initial setup of the email application. So we're assuming here that you've never set up an email uh, account on your device. If you have, simply press the menu button, which is on the bottom right side of the keyboard. Go over to the accounts menu, select account setup, and new. And that will get you to the same screen that you're about to see. Here on my device, since it's the first email account, I'm going to just select continue, and it'll allow me to set up the first email account. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter in my email address and password. This is going to be for you the corporate email address and password that you need to access on the Exchange server. Once you've entered in the email address and password, simply highlight the Next button and press the center of the five-way navigator or tap on the screen. The next screen here shows you or asks you the type of email account that you want to set up. We want to select the Outlook or EAS, Exchange Active Sync option from mail type. Your username will depend on how your corporation uh, asks you to log into the email server. This username will many times be the exact same as the username that you would enter when uh, accessing your computer. So when you do a control alt delete on your computer, that's the username that you'll most likely enter in here. The mail server is many times the same thing as your Outlook web access server. So here I'm going to enter in the mail server that I'm going to connect to. If you have any question about what these settings need to be in your environment, I would recommend checking with your IT administrator. The next thing I'm going to do here is tap the test settings button. When you tap test settings, it's going to verify the information that you've entered, your username, your password, and your mail server to verify that it can log in as you to that email server and get your exchange email. Upon success, you can just tap OK and then go down and select the Done button. When you select Done, it will then attempt to get your mail. It will first prompt you to make sure you definitely want to sync at this point in time. Uh, just tap Yes and it will perform the initial sync of the uh, calendar, contacts, and email from your Exchange server. The amount of time that it will take to perform the initial synchronization depends on the amount of data that you have on the Exchange server. By default, it will retrieve the previous two weeks of calendar and all future items. It will retrieve all your contacts and the last three days of email. I'll show you in a second how to change the amount of data that comes down to the device. So I have 10 emails that came down from the Exchange server. You'll notice in the top left corner of the screen, there's a little alert bell that tells me that I have a notification. You can simply press and hold the center of the five-way navigator, and it will bring up the alert screen. And here it's just telling me that uh, my account has been set up for Microsoft Direct Push email. I'll just select the Clear All option, and it will clear that alert bell out. So let's go in and set up some preferences uh, here in the email application. Press the menu button, which is down next to the button that says ALT or ALT on the bottom right of your Centro. Here it will expose a, a menu at the top of the screen. I'm going to select the Options menu and then the option that says Preferences. Here in the Preferences, we'll go through a couple of them. The first thing I'll change is the display. In here, you can change how many emails are shown per line. Um, you can also change the font as well as the colors. One thing I like to do is change the uh, color so that any unread emails are in red, any red emails are in black. I'll just tap OK to save that preference. You can also modify how items are handled when you delete. 
Uh, by default, the device will prompt you every time you delete an email, so you can uncheck that confirm deletion, and it will not prompt you anymore when you delete an email. By default, also, you'll notice that the checkbox there is enabled for delete the mail on the server once it's deleted from your device. Most people would like that to remain checked, but if you want to manage your email a second time when you get back to your desktop, you can feel free to uncheck that box. When we go into Auto Sync under the Delivery options, you'll notice it is set to Auto Sync Mail, Calendar, and Contacts as they arrive. That's the setting to enable for Direct Push to be, uh, to be enabled. You can also modify the incoming items that are delivered to your device. Now, by default, as I mentioned, you're going to get the last three days of email. You can change this preference if you want to receive more past history of email on your device, all the way up to receiving all messages that are in your inbox. You can also modify the number of calendar events that come down uh, from the past. As I mentioned, all future items are going to be on your device, but you want to think about how many items you have in your calendar and, and set the preference to something that will work for you. You can enable attachment download by default, uh, however we don't recommend that, um, at least I don't, because then you'll you never know how big of an attachment you'll have uh, coming down uh, from the server. We'll uncheck that. You can also enable alert of new email, okay, by default that is unchecked. And you can also enable a signature on your outbound emails. This will append a certain uh, number, uh, certain text string that you uh, type in here to all outbound emails. Let me just tap OK to save those preferences and now you'll see that all of the unread emails are listed here in red. And I'll just grab the first one, go in and view it. I'll select done and go back and now you'll see that the unread emails are red and the red emails are in black. So one last thing we want to show you here is how to map the email button to launch this email application. By default on the AT&T Centro, when you press the email button, and I'll do that now, it prompts you with a dialog to assign that messaging button to an application. There's two options, Express Mail, which is a service that AT&T offers, and Messaging, which is the text messaging application. Amazingly, email is not one of them. So to map this button to email, I'm just going to press the house button or the application launcher to get back into the applications. I'm going to scroll down to uh, the applications that start with the letter P and select the application called Prefs. Once in Prefs, I'll scroll down under the personal options and select the option for buttons. So here I'm going to remap the button so that right now it says unselected, which is why that other dialog box came up to set that to launch email. So now when I press the email button, it'll launch into the email application as I would hope it would. We hope you found this information valuable and that you're now able to sync with your corporate exchange server on the AT&T Centro.